Hello, it's Lolly, and I'm back to show you another design team project that I'm doing for Antivirus Scrap and Craft for the May kit of 2017. And this kit's theme was Let Them Eat Cake. There are a lot of cake and tea themed stamps and papers in it. And I will give you the link under this video for the box opening so you could see me opening and see what all is in the kit because during this month you can purchase it and while supplies last. And I want to show you what I made this time around. So I was at the hairdressers and she um, was going through a lot of her things and she had a lot of, um, oh, uh, some crafting stuff to give me that she wanted to get rid of, like cardstock. But she also had a couple of frames and I knew one of them I wouldn't use, but she, she pointed out that this one was sort of a shadow box and thought I might be able to use it. So I went home and immediately made this because I like the color of this. It's sort of a teal. And I thought it went well with this particular paper. The paper set in this is Kaiser Craft High Tea Collection. And so this sentiment here, a friend is someone who knows the song in your heart and sings it back to you when you've forgotten the words. That was the edge strip on one of the 12 inch pieces of paper. This sentiment was in there as well as this teacup stamp. So I will show you how this works. This is a frame like this. See if I can pop this open here. There you go. So I had taken, uh, I, made, I just took a piece of cardboard, a chipboard, and I covered it in the paper from the collection. And then I made, uh, see this is foam, white foam sheet that I cut out in a, with a die uh, as a tag, and I cut this pink tag out. I have the die for the word hugs. This is from the collection, and I put some really brilliant Swarovski crystals right here and here, and some buttons, and some paper lace. But this is the stamp in the collection. You can see what I did. See all those layers of foam back there. I cut out three layers of this nesting or stacking tea set and I cut one of them out with just the teacup and the saucer. I cut the next layer out with three teacups and saucer and, and I cut the, this is all fussy cut, and I cut the back one out with the whole thing. And I layered them out like that. And then I added two layers of the foam squares to really bring it forward for me. But when I was done with it, I felt like it was still missing something. So I, this is that silicone lace that you put in a mold and let it dry and pop it out. So I will give you the video underneath here about how to do that. So once I glued that on that top edge there, I thought it just really made it really pretty. Um, let me close this up. So it kind of gives it like a lace curtain look right there. And I did use E6000 glue to glue that in there. So there is the completed project. And I did use E6000 on these as well. And I think I used glossy accents to glue in the Swarovski crystals so that E6000 wouldn't squish all over the place. <laughs> anyway, I love this sentiment right there. I think it was just perfect and it just kind of gave the added touch to the whole frame. But again, love it. It'll be a great gift to give to a friend. And I just, the colors are phenomenal. So I will give you the links underneath to the kit opening. I will give you the link to this video here on how to do that lace. And I will give you a link to Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft website and blog. And on her website is where you can pick up some of her kits. And again, while supplies last, you can pick up this kit. So make sure you did look at the kit opening I did and see if that kit is something you'd be interested in because it's at a reduced rate and I really thought it was just a great selection. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that I did use Wink of Stella on this cup and on the inside of that cup, which of course, you know how hard it is to get those on video. A little bit of shimmer there you can see. Anyway, thought it was fun and uh, just a kind of a spur of the moment project to, to be given a frame and to do that with it. Thank you for so much for watching and for checking out the links below and for giving my video a thumbs up.